There's been so many walls built in Philly and there are so many people that, you know, we've been doing it this way, this is our way. Who are you to come in and do it that way? Well, what we've done is we come in, but we're not just doing it our way. We're opening up to the community and we're asking them and we're hearing them and we're listening. You know, I always tell people, if you show up and you listen and you try to laugh, those three things each day will get you through it. And that's what we do. When I started Philly Unknown, I started it because I was coming out of a pretty dark period of my life. And I had sort of made this pact with myself that if I was able to come out of this dark period, I would be, I wanted to start a place in the community here in Philadelphia where like the underdog and people who didn't have a voice or a platform would have to go, whether it was artists, photographers, people who were suffering from any type of anxiety or, you know, some substance use disorder. So I said I was gonna start a platform where people could come together, they could connect and have a place to be. And that's what I did with Philly Unknown. I, uh, I had been in and out of, um, active substance use disorder for many years, probably uh, 20 years. Uh, about 2012, I started my own company, my own business, my own small business. And the stress of all of it sort of just kicked me in the butt really hard that um, I went into a huge active um, addiction. And I went from opiate use of pills to heroin. It was, a, it was almost like Groundhog's Day every day, you know, sort of like recently the pandemic. You get up, you do the same thing over and over. I would get up, I would focus on my business, I would focus on getting high. It all started in January of 2015. I had uh, experienced um, an, uh, an overdose. I, I overdosed. And I woke up to a bunch of uh, cops and paramedics, you know, standing over me as I'm parked in my car on a sidewalk against a warehouse. I must have hopped the curb, ended up there. And um, when they asked me if I was okay, if I needed to go to the hospital, I said no, assuming I was going to walk away from it and I ended up in jail. And I ended up in jail for a DUI uh, overnight. And it started kicking in that, that point in time that is this all worth it? And from there it was a good, uh, it was a good nine month uh, fight in hell to get myself out of it. But it started about 2015 when I saw some really uh, crazy things going out of control in my life and overdose, you know, being in jail. First time ever, you know, that I experienced anything like that in my life. And so, yeah, it sort of started the wheel spinning saying you need to do something with yourself. When I first launched the platform, it was interesting. It was, I was, I had been on Instagram for quite some time and I had seen what um, People Delphia was doing. The energy and enthusiasm that I was picking up from, I was, I started to attend events and go to, you know, community function and see what was going on. And that was a real big push for me. My head spins every day thinking about where we are with Philly Unknown and, you know, the place that we made in the community, the, uh, the work we do in the community with uh, the people who are most vulnerable and need us the most. It's been amazing. I, no, I'm, I'm, you can pinch me, I'd still be shocked that this happening, you know? First of all, our mission is to really just bridge gaps in the community, which are basically, you know, teaching people about each other. You know, the different lives that people have, you know. You could live on one block and people who live three blocks away pull a different life, you know, and they don't know about each other. They don't want to come together. They're afraid of each other. So one of the things was us just connecting community, letting people know that at the end of the day, we're all the same. No matter what paycheck you get, no matter what type of car you drive, what house you live in, at the end of the day, we're all the same. We're all human and we all need to be treated that way. People get pigeonholed and think that Philly Unknown is really just about one thing when it's about an overall encompassment of community. So yeah, we get a lot of that and it's something that I'm used to and I'm okay with that. And the best thing about that is I love to work with people and educate them what we do and see their faces light up and see their aha moment. And you know, one of those agencies who was totally against us putting the guard in there, this morning they showed up and they started working with us. And I was just like, that's a win. I think the number one thing people in Philadelphia need to do in order to move forward at all is to really let go a lot of their concepts and beliefs of things that they don't know much about. And I think that's one of the major things that we've been trying to do is break those barriers. We talk about mental health a lot. We talk about issues like substance use disorder. Not many people will talk about that. That's a taboo sort of thing. Mental health is taboo. You know, homelessness, so taboo. You walk by it on every corner in Rittenhouse and you see people ignore them each and every day, you know? So I think for us to just continue to open people's minds in Philadelphia and to change their way of thinking by 
our actions, I think that's going to help a lot. But I also think people in Philadelphia need to breathe a little bit. They need to step back and they need to say, what if that were me?